2023, Charlie Boy draws bond share on why Arthur AZ is angry with Peter Obi. This will shock you. Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Controversial Nigerian singer Charles Oputa, popularly known as Charlie Boy, has reviewed a purported conversation between Nigerian business mogul Arthur Aze and Labour Party presidential candidate Mr. Peter Obi. Niger News records that Aze disassociated himself from Obi's ambition while speaking at the occasion of the 2023 Ofala Festival of Igwe Dr. Robert Aze, the traditional ruler of Mpo in Ado Kofia, local government area of Anambra State. The billionaire also stated that he asked the Labour Party presidential candidate not to waste his money on the 2023 election because he would not win. Speaking on the issue, Charlie Boy, in a post shared on Instagram, said, Peter Obi was given conditions when he visited Arthur for blessings ahead of the presidential election. According to him, Arthur wanted to assume the position of godfather in Peter Obi's presidential ambition, but he later refused to succumb to it. He added that the former governor of Anambra State refused to Arthur's condition got him angry. He said, let me educate you people what transpired between Peter Obi and Arthur Eze. Peter Obi went to his house in Mbo, Anambra State to inform him officially of his ambition. Arthur Eze brought paper and pen and told Peter Obi that he will support him financially, that he will roll billions in his campaign only if he accept him to be his godfather. He listed his demand, etc. If he wins, Peter Obi told him earlier that a lot of promises have been made to Nigerians, Asu and so on, that he will rather die than not to keep his promise. If he become my God godfather, I will disappoint Nigerians. Besides, I am not a poor man. I have spent billions since I, de I declared in PDP. I toured the 36 states with my team. Not only me, I toured the whole European with my team visiting Nigerians. So, sir, if it is possible, support me and give me your blessings. But I don't want Godfather at all easy. God provoked. This was what actually happened in Obo Anambra State. Thank you. He has reviewed it. Okay, Nigerians have this to say. True talk and well said. Having the eating, having he eaten enough under good luck, Jonathan, now he wants to assume office again to corrupt Peter Obi in Asso Rock. But God pass him. It can never happen. Obi then to remove. Okay, someone just dropped that. So, guys, what's your take on this? Niger News recorded that AZ disassociated himself from Obi's ambition. While speaking at the occasion of the 2023 Ofala Festival of H.R.H. -H Igwe, Dr. Robert Eze, the traditional ruler of Mpo in Adokofia, local government area of Anambra State, the Bologna also stated that he asked the Labour Party presidential candidate not to waste his money on the 2023 election because he will not win. Speaking on the issue, Charlie Boy in a post shared on Instagram said, Peter Obi was given conditions when he visited Arthur for blessings ahead of the presidential election. According to him, Arthur wanted to assume the position of godfather in Peter Obi's presidential ambition, but he later refused to succumb to it. He added that the former governor of Anambra State's refusal to Arthur's condition got him angry. He said, let me educate you people what transpired between Peter Obi and Arthur Eze. Peter Obi went to his house in Nkbo, Anambra State, to inform him, inform him officially of his ambition. Arthur Eze brought paper and pen and told Peter Obi that he would support him financially, that he will rule billions in his campaign only if he accepts him to be his godfather. He listed his demands, etc. 
if he wins. Peter Wick told him clearly that a lot of promises have been made to Nigerians. They are so, and so on that he will rather die than not to keep his promise. If you become my godfather, I will disappoint Nigerians. Besides, I am not a poor man. I have spent billions since I declared in PDP. I tore the 36 states with my team. Not only me, I tore the whole Europe with my team visiting Nigerians. So, sir, if it's possible, support me and give me your blessings. But I don't want Godfather at all. Is a God provoked? This was what actually happened in Paul Anambra State. He said, thank you. So, guys, this is what... Um, Charlie Boy is saying. He said the reason why Ato is he said is not in support of Peter Ubi's presidential bid is because Peter Ubi went to meet him to say, Baba, I want your blessings for this my journey. But the man said, Okay, good. I want you to do something. And uh, I want to be your godfather. I will dole out billions of naira for your campaign. But this and this and this and that I want. Or according to Charlie Boy, he said the demands made Peter will be said, No, if you become my godfather, I'm going to disappoint Nigerians. So for that, no. This is exactly what provoked the the business uh, Mogu at all easy. That is why he came out openly to say, I am not in support of Peter Ubi's uh, ambition. No. So Charlie Boy is telling Nigerians that there is more to that you see this issue of godfatherism this is what nigerians have been suffering i will support you this this when you don't win this is what you could do this is what you could do if you guys can remember what happened you know during a uh, in Gige, uh, time you understand the same godfatherism they took him to one shrine to swear and all that and all that they have to expose them these people will never rest. They continue to suck Nigeria and dry. And they are not still tired. It's, it's unfortunate. I'm dropping it here, kind of.